You're in my world now. Welcome to the Impulse SV patron server. So basically, what we've got going on here, I'm going to sleep it today right quick, but we're going to go over there and we are going to work on our house. Now the thing is, I don't exactly have the area fully prepped, so I'm going to do a little bit of that. And I will see you once I get the last little tiny bit of prep work done over here. Okay, so I've done some terraforming, and we've got ourselves more of a beach area than we once did. I've kind of pushed back the grass to here, and I'm cutting out all the beach except for at the far end over there and right here. These are going to be the beach access points. But otherwise, it's going to be grass, and in fact, when we get around to here, I'm going to fill this in straight down with dirt. I don't know if I'm going to fill in underneath or not. I probably will, maybe. Maybe not. Either way, I definitely will be filling this in vertically. I've lined this up with the coast, except, like I said, over here we're going to have the other beach. This is actually going to be more or less a sheer drop-off, and then this beach will have a low access point into the basement of the house from this direction. I'll have a similar thing over here, possibly make this a boat launch area because it's already kind of carved out a little bit, perhaps. But otherwise, even this beach right here is going to be sheer cliff. So, yeah. This is the area I have to work with for the house design, and so what we need to do now is kind of try and start laying out the foundation. And to do that, I'm going to use the polished andesite. I'm going to actually get some of this foundation laid out off camera so that I can kind of really think about it and then I'll go kind of go through the uh, the idea I've got going for this place. Alright, I've got the foundation laid out. This is what I'm going to do for the entrance. I'm actually going to replace all these with the block that I'm actually going to do the foundation in. This is just going to help outline the first floor. Now, this is basically the foyer entranceway. So... Not exactly sure how to decorate this, or if at all. But this little hallway here leads to what will be upstairs, to what I feel like I should do is a bunch of micro farms, kind of like that one. Upstairs, and then downstairs we head to storage. It's basically going to go down the stairs, and then swing around, and storage is out this way, directly underneath the house. This is the living room. Uh, this is going to be a bathroom, because, yes, I'm going to include bathrooms in this. We've got a kitchen-dining room combo here. Uh, this is kind of a pantry. Uh, here is a bedroom. Uh, there's a bedroom. Uh, there's a bathroom with a shower. And then this is the master bedroom with its own private bathroom, which is you know, not really that <laughs> much bigger than any other bathroom, but, hey... It is what it is. Actually, it is very slightly bigger. It's got a slightly bigger shower. <laughs> At least that's the plan. In any case, I need to gather up the resources to build the walls. And then, kind of been debating on whether I'm going to put it into the ground or at this level. Which means I just have to place the, the flooring at this level. I also have to figure out what the materials to use for the different floors. So for that, I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting on uh, on, a, on my creative test world, and we'll s see what I come up with. So now that I've gone to my creative test world to compare the different woods against the the uh, material I'm using for the wall, which is cobblestone, uh, I've determined that birch wood will be the ideal wood of choice. In addition, we need a crafting table out this way. Uh, yeah, right there works. So basically we're going to make a 
boatload of birchwood slabs. And we'll just drop the uh, wrong one. Drop those off in there, and we'll work on getting this, the flooring, set up. If that time lapse went according to plan, which I feel like it did, I'll actually be able to have the main time lapse with a speedy up version of my first person view. In the meantime, oh, nice! <laughs> I finally got the Monster Hunter achievement. But yeah, finished up right at night. So, oh, sneaky skeleton. 
<laughs> well, someone's sleeping for me. <laughs> All right, that worked out. So, yeah, we've got the flooring in. Uh, if you notice, I didn't put any flooring here. That's because this is the stairway down to the basement. This will be the stairway up to the second floor, which is where I'm going to put a bunch of mini farms and such. Uh, I'll kind of try and go over what I'm going to put there when I get the, uh, I guess as I build the walls. Got to figure out where the windows are going. I got to replace a few patches of stone with uh, grass. But yeah, this is pretty much the layout. And then, I left this as andesite because it's internal and it's going to be where the walls go, so it'll be able to help me mark that out. This is the living room, uh, kitchen, dining room, three bedrooms, shared bath, public bath, no shower, private bath, foyer, and of course the stairwells, which this is kind of weird. I could have probably put that stairwell over there too, just as easily. But when, you when you're coming in, I want you to kind of come in, and then you've got this hallway where you go up, but you got to kind of go around the hallway to get to the main house, or to go down, instead of straight through with the up down there. I want you to kind of go from one side to the other so you can look out one window and the other just as easily when I get those in. So, yeah, let me, uh, let me put us down to 28 slabs. I had to make two trips. I'm probably going to be able to have those cut out. But, yeah, two trips for slabs. Yeah. All right. So, what, what next? Ah, cobblestone. Oh, yeah. And those uh, few mobs right there at the end. Drop that stuff off. And we'll put the stone up, too. And... Grab a boatload of cobblestone, because building these walls up, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be fun. All right. Well, let's see. I don't really need my camera account, so I'm going to switch over to that and log out so that it's not eating up running at the same time as all of this as well. And, yeah. Oh, and we're going to have a sand door here. That's the planned entrance for this place. Eh. Yep, and that's the orientation it will have to go, I think. I can easily terraform over it. But based on how there's so much less room out this way, yeah, it's definitely going to have the bulk of the... Oops. The bulk <laughs> of the, uh, the redstone inside the house. Let me actually switch to that so that I don't accidentally do that again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, like I said, let me log out the other account, and we'll get to building the walls. And I'll kind of tell you about my plans for what's going on the second floor. The basement, of course, storage, but I'll let you kind of go over some plans for the second floor. If I've already got it one off the ground, I just need to build the wall up one level in order to, well, see what the cobblestone looks like against this, plus to see more of what it'll look like from the outside. The main point of that, though, is it would make it mob-proof except for the entrance, which might be the first area I actually fully build up. Though I might do that between episodes. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna lay out the first little bit, one block tall, and we'll actually see how much cobblestone this uses up just for one layer of this. I'm not even gonna worry about what the interior walls are gonna be yet. I'm just going to focus on the exterior walls right here. So I did just edit together the uh, time lapse. I haven't rendered it out yet, but it is everything I hoped the beginning of last episode's time lapse was going to be. So I'm very pleased. I was disappointed when I had made the mistake last time of recording both instances of Minecraft and... Well, what ended up happening was the one instance of Minecraft, well, only one of them basically was able to record. I got lucky that the one that, that I wanted either way got recorded, but at the same time, it tried to record both to the same file name, and that doesn't exactly work. So what I've got going on 
uh, this time is I've actually got the file name saved differently by just adding time lapse to the end of it. And yeah, that totally works. But also, the second floor, I know of five micro farms that I'm going to add. Four of them are mumbos, and one of them is impulses. So basically, I'm going to add a micro melon and pumpkin farm, micro sugar king farm, micro cactus farm, impulses nano farm that I've got built over there. I'm moving it inside to the second floor when I get the second floor built. And then I'm going to build a micro cocoa bean farm. So I will have two manual interaction farms and three completely automatic, I guess technically four, because I'll need to build a micro pumpkin and a micro melon farm. So yeah, that's uh, basically what's going to go on the second floor. Okay, so that is 49, which means I used 15, 25 blocks, I believe. Yes, 25. So I used, what, three stacks and 25 for the wall? Now, of course, there's going to be gaps where the windows goes, which that I definitely have not figured out in the slightest. There's obviously not going to be a wall, a window here, rather. And I probably won't put a window anywhere on this diagonal. I might. It depends on how it looks. Auto smeltery, auto brewery, enchanting station. Got to remember that stuff, too. That'll go second floor as well. Now back to the rest of the clip. But yeah, I think digging out the basement and building the second floor before I even decorate the first floor are going to kind of be priorities so that I can get stuff going. I'm thinking I'll start with the second floor and then I'll dig to the first floor and find out what that cave is down there that I keep hearing zombies First it was skeletons, now it's zombies, so something down there. I'm going to find it. And I might even just end up finding it when I put the door in. So I'm going to... I need to throw down some torches in here. Uh, hmm. Just throw a few torches kind of sporadically. Uh, gee, I kind of want these a little bit more centered. Boom. Boom. Yeah, this is just kind of sporadic torch placement. Hoping that it's going to provide enough light to prevent mob spawns. But there's going to be some tricky spots that are harder to determine. Uh, probably have insufficient... Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this works, but as far as mobs getting up in here, skeletons, yeah, they might be able to shoot me, so I'll need to build it up one higher. But anything else can only... Oh, yeah, spiders can climb. Hmm. But anything else can only come in through the front door. Including myself, unless I enter Pearl. And anyway. <laughs> We've got the, uh, the house going up, and I'm going to definitely light up the rest of this island terraform it, build this door, and probably get some of the digging done down here. That or the upstairs. I'm not sure yet exactly which one I'm going to start with. Leaning towards upstairs because getting those farms running will be important. In any case, I'd like to thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse, which this time worked exactly like I was hoping it would. Don't forget to check the description below. Oh, and I'll be playing on a new patron server in addition to this one soon, too. So check that out when I start there. And God bless.